Hello everyone, welcome back for more Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelist of the Roses Redux Using the Warrior deck. So yeah, well last time we, uh, we defeated Necromancer I think we also beat Brex, I think that was it Just those two fights Today, um, I think I'm gonna fight, uh, Bandit Keith Or just Keith in this game Because, uh, kind of figured it probably is better to get to Labyrinth Ruler as quickly as possible Because I mean, he does also have warrior monsters, and he might have, like, a couple monsters that are decent for our deck still. Honestly, like, the only thing I can think of is, like, what, Green Kappa, maybe, and Sword Stalker? I don't want him to attack my Shogun, so I'm just gonna use it right here. And that turned a decent bit into Meadow, so... That gives us a pretty immediate advantage. He decides to just do nothing, so I guess he's gonna play a uh, strong monster card instantly. I think these two should make judgment. Yes, they do. All right. Well, even if he's got like Melzo, I don't think he beats us. Although with a power increase, he might. Although, also, like, I don't think he can get Melzo up. Yeah, it's just Labyrinth Tank, and it is not strong enough to take down Judge Man. Which is uh, good for us, I guess. Alright, boom, Hulk smash, and it's done. And now it's our turn. Alright, let's see what we draw. Um, more of the same, really. I think we'll just wait uh, for Gate Guardian. Alright, that goes into a jack mob, meaning it's probably stronger than whatever I have. You could use the Sword of Dark Destruction, so why not? You know, I can't tell you why I decided to just uh, stay in, because now it's just over. Yeah, the AI, like I said, just sometimes doesn't protect its deck leader, and that is its greatest weakness. Because you can cheese a lot of mo or a lot of wins by doing that. Damn, we were close. We were close, though. We almost got a free dark hole. That would have been nice, but um, I guess it wasn't meant to be. Hey, hey, that does open up uh, Labyrinth Ruler in Newcastle. So, um, that works out. Because he might actually have a couple of cards that can uh, help us. But that being said, I mean, this dude has a Gate Guardian for himself, so... You can't really flip or switch the tables on him with like terrain. And he has Ryoku, so I mean that's also an issue. Although although thinking about it. I mean you start off with four, right? Four um star points, so it can't be higher than four stars. 
I mean, hell, it might just be Green Kappa. If it's Green Kappa, it'd be pretty ironic. Tired Arrow, we just straight up ignore it. Okay, that boosts everyone up. I should probably just stop doing that. Hey, look, it's Performance of Sword, who is actually, like, really good on this map. Perfect. Yeah, that's even better. Also means that he doesn't have Succubus Knight on the field. I do some good damage to him because yeah, um, he is tough. This is probably the, one like, one of the tougher opponents in the game, especially like of course like uh, Ryoku and having Gate Guardian, and he also has like Garma Sword and Black Luster Soldier in his deck, so like he's just not easy to beat. Also, like Green Capper can also sometimes uh, cause some issues. Plus, like, the map's kind of situated in a way that he can kind of stall you out a lot easier. Or, well, keep himself alive so that you can't beat him quickly before he gets something really strong out. But, I mean, we have slightly equalized playing fields here. Like, not completely, but at least decent bit. Alright, well, we're not gonna need Sogans, so I'm just gonna throw them away. That being said, he also has cards like uh, Shadow Spell, so we do have to be careful about that as well. Kageningen. Alright, well, that was a labyrinth wall. Alright, you back off, and I suppose we just make another judgment, right? Yeah, Judgment has kind of become a main fusion. Alright, a power increase to that, I mean, if it attacks into us, it's clearly stronger. If it doesn't, it's clearly weaker. And it's Garma Sword. That is not great for us, because he also destroys, um, you know, all other Judgment there. And yeah, now we're being flanked from both sides, so it's pretty bad. Now let's see. It's not really what you want to see, is it? I'm gonna place a sort of dark destruction here with the um, hope that we draw into something good.
Um, it's not. What's his face? And he doesn't get the buff. Um. Black Luster Soldier only comes up to 4,000, so. I mean, you get stronger fighting beasts. Yeah, you only come to 4,000. Well, we can always hope. Yeah, this is fucked. I think we just lost. Because he just beats over us barely on both sides. And well, he's going to hit us with one of the guys anyways. Yeah, I mean, I think we just surrender at this point. It's unfortunate. Like, some of the issues obviously come from being just, like, one side being completely, like, unable to go into because he's got, a, like, a Ryoku on that. And, you know, the other side, he just beats us by 50. Yeah, the moral of the story is that our deck is pretty goddamn uh, bad at uh, dealing with warrior monsters. <sighs> Fuck off, I just don't feel like it. It's a bad opening hand too, so I'm just gonna surrender instantly. So we have 45 um, duels in total, so we should be able to reincarnate again, which let's just reincarnate like something like you and hope we get some good cards. Dragon Capture Dar is uh, not good. Skull Guardian isn't really what we're looking for either, and uh, time either isn't. <laughs> Alright, well, we, uh, we wasted that reincarnation. Great. Let's see, can we put something like really strong in the deck? I think we're gonna just need it. Ooh, we're putting away for now. Um, yeah, so it's one of our foreign land could have been maybe utilized at some point. Yeah, Hinatoma, we can definitely get rid of that card and... Uh... Yeah, I had to pick like Grave Power, that doesn't sound like a bad card to put in there and outside of that I mean maybe put some uh, some of the cards that just lower their um, we don't need fake trap let's just get like a mesmeric control or something like that or spellbinding circle yeah yeah like I said uh, level ruler is not an easy duel Mostly down to the fact that he can get up to incredibly high numbers and the map is one that the AI is able to... Like, it, there's not a lot you can do about the map. Like... Ironically, like, this map is built like a lot of the vanilla maps are built. 
and that's kind of, and that's, I mean, in like a critical way, and not in a good way. Like, this map is probably the most reminiscent you, you'll get from, uh, from the vanilla game, which is, from my experience, often very stall-like. And same kind of applies to this one, there's no real swift, quick way to deal with this one. I don't need Dragon Statue. Honestly, I only have Dragon Statue because I think the card looks cool. And, you know, it, it, it confuses into uh, Judge Man. But like pretty much all of our cards can fuse into Judge Man except for uh, Swordsman from a Foreign Land. Okay, Deke is an amazing card to draw, but... We don't have a like top, top card yet to utilize it in combination with. Yeah, um, I don't know what's the best idea to just utilize Spellbinding Circle like already, but here we are. Alright, that is not great either. He's just gonna get rid of it, isn't he? Oh no, never mind, it's uh... Okay, definitely a mistake not sending anything out there. Like I said, I'm still hoping that we like... Get a good monster like Garma Sword up. Um, Skull Guardian, I mean, it works. It doesn't give us, like, we can't use Sword of Dark Destruction on it, but... We can slightly power up our own monster here, and do at least a decent little bit of life point damage. Although, like, the chance of him having something behind me that is stronger than Skull Guardian is pretty up there. I'm trying to think what uh, warrior monster you could even have. It's wall shadow, but you know, it's in attack position, so it's not very threatening. It's another 1100 down, so we're, um, we're, getting him, we're getting him down pretty low, but clearly still need like one big hit, and that like can be pretty hard depending on what uh, happens. But hey, we took uh, wall shadow down and not bad. We're down to 1600. Oh yeah, look at that card. That card, like he always, sometimes he just sends out a card or a monster that goes all the way over there and just flip flops back and forth, back and forth. Also, like I'm pretty convinced this is probably a shadow spell. It's not who I want to draw at all. I 
I mean, it's probably time to, like, utilize Gate Dig, I guess. Legendary Sword, I mean, that's a decent card. Now, game, give me Black Luster Soldier, please. Or, I mean, uh, give me Gaia. Just give me Gaia the Fierce Knight, please. You know, this guy being uh, in attack position and makes me assume. Okay. We know that that guy is a. Uh, You know these two are monsters and these two aren't. So these two are probably like one of them is a labyrinth and the other one is a shadow spell. Well, there goes... Uh most of judgment's usages. We we'll get, uh, we'll get the beautiful headhunters. I guess she's slightly stronger. I'm kind of hoping to force her in or force him into uh, backing off and just getting rid of his powerful card. All right, you don't need to do this game. You don't need to do this game. Gate Guardian, I mean, that's good. That's just objectively really good. Alright, we got Burning Land, that's cool. Alright, we got rid of that card. That was indeed a magical lab or labyrinth. Um, and next up, we do this. It's Black Luster fucking Soldier! Well, luckily enough, we were strong enough. Because that thing was gonna wreck us, or at least he was gonna absolutely destroy a beautiful headhunters. But luckily enough, we had the perfect card to counter it.
Alrighty, backs off. Perfect. Alright. Force. Oui. Yeah, it's in defense mode, which... We do this to get... Oh... Did, 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 did we just lose? Yeah, we did. Oh, fuck! What the fuck, man? Alright, so in one turn, he gets rid of 4,000 of my life points. Oh my god! You gotta be kidding me! Oh! I hate this guy. I hate playing against this guy so much. Like, he's the only one who can do bullshit like this to you. Oh my god. Like, what do you, what could I even say about that? Like, Ryoku into, um, into green kappa kill me okay all right cogging is actually like a great scouting guard doesn't help at all. Alright, this makes this map significantly less fun to play. Like, all he's done is just extend the map. Like, every, oh, the only thing that happens is that the map now takes longer. But that's the only thing he's gained out of that. Yeah, we give it to her. She could utilize it pretty well. Oh, he has a cogging in too. Kind of a shame that he, uh. I mean, he had the same strategy as I did, so. That's unfortunate. Okay, he still moves that thing forward. I mean, that thing's two stars. We play this card here. If he attacks, we know it's stronger. Got Black Luster Soldier up suspiciously quickly. Or at least we can finish it off, right? Okay, no, we fucked up, of course. Of course we fucked up. I hate this. Oh, I hate myself for doing that. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. Well, time to wait another 50 minutes before we get this shit done. Should move one space forward. I hate this. Oh, I hate this so much. At least we, like, lowered, like, a genuinely threatening monster of his. It's burger time, everyone. So I'll fuck this up, let's just give it to him straight.
It's burgering time! It's just burgering time, isn't it? That being said, like, performance of sword is probably still useful. So we'll keep the queen's double. I see. It's burgering time! I watch him go for Gate Guardian after this, or just Ryoku Force. It's burger time! Also, Garma Sword is here. And this dude as well. I think our best bet is just to power up our own little hamburger friend. Kunai with chain. Sword stalker. Um probably want to get something. Well, that thing is gone. He's slowly but surely getting rid of all the cards he has, which is a good thing for us. Because we can do this, and we can do this, and I think, I think that's checkmate. I think he can't do anything anymore now. It was the burger all along. We just needed the hamburger to win. His only weakness. Hamburger. Yeah, <laughs> Somehow, someway, cogging it was also important for this fight. Perfect, that's exactly who I wanted. Hey! I don't mind getting another Kaganengen, he's not bad. And, you know, another Succubus Knight, sure, whatever. Alright. Well, we did end up beating him after uh, technically four tries, but like one of the tries I just didn't even want to bother. Damn straight, he's got that big ass hell on his forehead. Well, everyone, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!